ever wondered when you first recognized Margaret Lockwood on the silver screen? Maybe it was in the midst of the classic Hollywood movie night, or perhaps you stumbled upon her iconic performances in the annals of film history. Regardless, Lockwood's impact transcends the boundaries of time, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of cinephiles worldwide. While we explore the enigmatic charm of this classic Hollywood actor, we invite you to reflect on your own encounters with Margaret Lockwood. Can you share a personal story of how her on-screen presence inspired or impacted your life? Your tales add depth to the collective appreciation of this cinematic luminary. Before we dive into the captivating details of Lockwood's career, consider this. What is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Margaret Lockwood's legacy? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below, forging connections through shared admiration for this timeless talent. Now, let's set the stage with some random facts about Margaret Lockwood, unraveling the layers of a career that has left an indelible mark on the silver screen. Share your thoughts and let the dialogue begin. Margaret Lockwood, the renowned actress, attended London's Belvedere College and Sydenham High School in her formative years. Her educational background laid the foundation for a successful career in the entertainment industry. However, one intriguing aspect of her career is her consideration for the female lead in the classic film Casablanca. Despite this opportunity, Gainsborough Productions held her back, preventing her from taking on the iconic role that eventually went to Ingrid Bergman. In 1965, Margaret Lockwood showcased her versatility by co-starring in the popular British television series The Flying Swan alongside her daughter Julia Lockwood. This collaboration added a familial dimension to her professional accomplishments, demonstrating her impact across different mediums. These episodes in Lockwood's life offer a glimpse into the actress' early education, career choices, and the unique dynamics of working with family in the entertainment industry. Each facet contributes to the multifaceted legacy left by Margaret Lockwood in the world of acting. Margaret Lockwood, born to the limelight, kicked off her entertainment journey at the tender age of 10, captivating audiences in cabarets as Margie Day. Her professional debut in 1928 as a fairy in A Midsummer Night's Dream at the Holborn Empire marked the commencement of a prolific career that would shape the landscape of British cinema. From those early enchanting moments on stage, Lockwood's trajectory would lead her to iconic roles and an enduring legacy. In the later years of her life, Margaret Lockwood found solace and residence in Upper Park Road, Kingston-upon-Thames, Surrey. The house, nestled against the backdrop of Richmond Park, witnessed the actress' presence for the last three decades of her life. Such was her impact on the local community that a newly constructed road nearby was named Margaret Lockwood in her honor after her passing immortalizing her connection to the area. Beyond the glitz of the stage and screen, Lockwood's family life added another layer to her narrative. The renowned actress was a grandmother to four grandchildren Timothy, Nicholas, Lucy, and Catherine. This familial dimension, often overshadowed by her illustrious career, sheds light on a more private aspect of Margaret Lockwood's life, showcasing a balance between the public and the personal. From fairy tale beginnings on stage to the tranquil years in Surrey and the warmth of family bonds, Margaret Lockwood's life was a tapestry woven with diverse threads. This multifaceted persona, often obscured by the glamour of Hollywood, contributes to the enduring legacy she left in the world of acting. Margaret Lockwood, an iconic actress of her time, faced unforeseen challenges that added complexity to her life. Suffering from vestibulitis, a viral ear infection, during much of her later years, Lockwood navigated the entertainment industry while dealing with a debilitating health condition. Despite the success of The Lady Vanishes, her collaboration with Michael Redgrave on film adaptations of Rob Roy and The Blue Lagoon for Gainsborough Productions was thwarted by the onset of World War II. This upheaval in their professional plans mirrored the global turmoil of the time. In the latter part of her life, Lockwood became a recluse, limiting her interactions to family and close friends, including Phyllis Calvert, who took her on drives to the garden center. These intimate details paint a vivid picture of the challenges and choices Margaret Lockwood faced, shedding light on the resilience behind the glamorous facade of her acting career. Margaret Lockwood, a teetotaler throughout her life, 
had a unique preference for hot chocolate over alcohol, often stocking up with 60 sachets at a time, affectionately calling it her tipple. Despite her commitment to a non-alcoholic lifestyle, Lockwood faced challenges in her later years due to vestibulitis, a viral ear infection affecting her balance. Seeking solace, she withdrew from the public eye and settled in Kingston-upon-Thames. This exclusive London suburb became her haven, providing a tranquil backdrop to the later chapters of her life. Locked away from the glitz of Hollywood, Lockwood's story takes an intimate turn revealing a woman who navigated health struggles with resilience and found comfort in the simple pleasures of life. From her teetotal preferences to the quiet retreat in Kingston-upon-Thames, Lockwood's choices and challenges offer a unique glimpse into the lesser-known aspects of her remarkable life. Trained at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, Margaret Lockwood's early success came when she was spotted in a production and signed by a leading London agent. Her journey from the prestigious Academy to the limelight set the stage for a prolific career in British cinema. Not just confined to the screen, Lockwood's penchant for disguises, like wearing a balaclava, added a touch of mystery to her public persona. She would make a swift exit at the stage door, avoiding the spotlight in a unique way. Beyond the glamour, Lockwood's family life was equally intriguing. As the mother of actress Julia Lockwood, she carried a unique tradition, naming her daughter after Gaio Giulio Cesar to commemorate her birth by Caesarian operation. This familial connection added a personal layer to her public image. Lockwood's life, marked by her training, enigmatic stage exits, and family connections, showcases a multifaceted personality beyond the celluloid. It's a journey from drama school to the discreet maneuvers in the spotlight, revealing the lesser-known facets of an iconic actress life. Retiring to a stylish house in Kingston-upon-Thames, Margaret Lockwood spent the remainder of her life in a serene cul-de-sac, surrounded by neighbors on a tree-lined street. This tranquil setting marked a departure from her bustling career as Britain's one box office star in the 1940s, where she engaged in nationwide signing sessions for her fans. Despite her on-screen success, Lockwood made a noteworthy decision when she declined Michael Winner's invitation to attend the screening of The Wicked Lady, a film in which she had starred in the original version back in 1945. This choice exemplifies Lockwood's deliberate and private approach to her post-acting life. From cinematic stardom to the quietude of Kingston-upon-Thames, Margaret Lockwood's story is one of contrasts, providing a unique glimpse into the multifaceted layers of her life. As the curtains draw to a close on this exploration of actress Margaret Lockwood's captivating career, I invite you to pause and ponder the indelible imprint she left on the tapestry of entertainment. Let the reel of memories play, from the silver screen to the depths of your cinematic soul. What moments of Lockwood's performances linger in the corridors of your mind? As we navigate the labyrinth of her roles, each character crafted with precision, I encourage you to share your cherished memories or profound reflections. Did her on-screen presence weave into the fabric of your own narrative? Perhaps a character mirrored your struggles or triumphs, resonating with the symphony of your personal experiences. In this collective reflection, let us celebrate the magic that transcends time and space, connecting us across the ages through the lens of Margaret Lockwood's artistry. Your stories, a testament to the enduring power of storytelling, add layers to the legacy she built. With sincere appreciation for your time and the shared journey through the cinematic realms of Margaret Lockwood, I thank you. May her influence continue to inspire generations to come. Until the next encore, revel in the timeless allure of Lockwood's performances.